Church of Our Savior, 12730 East Warren, Detroit, Michigan, where the Reverend Sam Scott is the fine pastor. We're inviting you to come and worship with us. Order of services, Sunday school at 9 a.m., morning worship at 10.30 a.m., Bible class every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Come and bring your family and be blessed. Good evening. Uh, this is the City Singles Broadcast. Now we're coming to you live from the beautiful city of Holland Park. And I tell you one thing that we're glad to be here. We're glad to be a part of this fine service. First, I'd like to say good evening to everybody. But before we go into program, we are going to pray. Now, let me tell you who we're praying for. Let me see. We're praying for Sandra Smith. We're praying for Sandra Scott. We're praying for Sandra Richards. We're praying for Yvonne Williams. We're praying for Remarka Pittman. We're praying for Reverend Knowlton. We're praying for Grady Green. We're praying for Derek Green. We're praying for Gina Quick. We're praying for Derek Green. We're praying for Tammy Harris. And we're praying for my sister, Barbara Scott. We're praying for Nat Scott and Seth Stephanie Scott. We're praying for everybody in the city of Detroit. We're praying for the ones that's in jail. We're praying for the ones that's at home convalescent. We're praying for the ones that's doing all right. And we're praying for Miss uh, Barbara, the mother of, of, of mother, uh, the daughter of Mother Julia Lovecraft. We are praying for all the members of the Church of Our Savior. We're praying for you. We're praying for Brother Otis Bell, my right hand. We're praying for all Reverend Jackson and that's all the ones that touch our Savior. And we are praying that they keep keep on in the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come just as humbly as we know how. We come as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. 
We come as children before their parents. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to bless us. Bless us all together. And bless us one by one. Bless us when we are right and then bless us when we are wrong and give us the spirit to straighten us out. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless my family, bless every family that's represented in this city of Detroit. Uh, bless the man that's on this station and trying to keep good things on the air. Bless him in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold him in your hand. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless our friends uh, on last Sunday that came out and showed support to Sister Ann Scott. Lord, they came out by the hundreds, and we thank you, Lord, for letting them. We thank you for letting the group drive from all the way from the New York out of town, the Brooklyn All-Stars. And we thank you, Lord, for letting them come in here and making it back safe. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, touch in Jesus' name. Heal in Jesus' name. Bring out in Jesus' name. Make ways in Jesus' name. Break yokes in Jesus' name. Whoa, in Jesus' name, make me better. Get in me, Lord. If you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and straighten me. And straighten me also in Jesus' name. We pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at Psalms 121. Look what it said. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whiff cometh my help. My help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. we just like to say that we're so happy to be here and I want to tell everybody, if you want to call a neighbor and call a friend, tell them that Pastor Sam Scott is on there. They can hear him at www.tv33whpr.com. They can hear him at television uh, 33, WHPR television 33. Then they can hear me on Comcast 91. And just tell them to call a neighbor and call a friend and tell them that we're on there. And tell them our goal is that somebody might hear us and come to Jesus. And that they may come. Lord, there's so many falling by the wayside, but I want you to help me to stand. Lord, Satan is going through trying to deceive. He ain't, he's not just fooling with the young people. He fooling with everybody. Amen. Because that's his job. He came to rob, kill, and destroy. Lord, but when, when he come to us, let, let us tell him just like Jesus, to get thee hence, Satan, because you cannot, you will not steal my joy. You will not turn me around. You will not stop me from worshiping a true and living God. You will not stop me from telling my friends and loved ones and enemies that the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. You, I want to say, I am going to keep my joy. You will not steal my joy. I have a testimony. After all I've been through, I still got joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to 
show more love to our friends and our loved ones. Even if they don't particularly care about you, you still should show love. I'm gonna, my motto for the rest of this year, year is to show more love. When nothing else could help me, love lifted me. And I'm telling you, you that's feeling down and out, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Huh? Because when nothing else can help you, love will lift you. Show love. If you think friends don't love you, show them love anyway. Huh? And, and Wolves said, they said, brother, well, I heard you said, well, you tell them that I love my neighbors, I love my enemies, I love my friends. So even those that despitefully misuse me, I still love them. I'm going to lift the Lord up high around young people huh, so they can sin, around old people so they can sin. And the way I want them to sin, but sin through me. I know what Jesus said, let your light shine. For all men, that they may see your good work and glorify the laws in heaven. All right, Brother Osbell, get up, get up, get up. Turn the television up just a little louder. Okay, Sister Virginia Scott, get up, get up, get up. Turn on the television in the back room, too. If you saw it looking at the ball game, turn the TV on in the back room. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to be better and better and better. Now we're going to the turntable and we're going to hear some ser a sermon. It.
speak through me. Let me be a vessel, Lord, speak through me. Lord, I thank you because you know me to preach. And in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let me say what you would have me to say. In Jesus' name, Come 
the devil ain't the magician. Yeah. And, 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 
the healing of both. Yes, and he turned to the book of Isaiah. And the spirit of the Lord to the one. of our Savior, 12730 East Warren, Detroit, Michigan, where the Reverend Sam Scott is the fine pastor. We're inviting you to come and worship with us. Order of services, Sunday school at 9 a.m., morning worship at 10.30 a.m., Bible class 
every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Come and bring your family and be blessed. All right. All right. Uh, it's written. I'll tell you one thing we, at, at a time. We must certainly always have a good time in the Lord. Uh, man, uh, we've been uh, preaching for a long time. Uh, Bar, I think Cable came and covered it for us. And it's just a blessing. All right. We're playing for Mother Barbara Love, Mother Barbara Lovecraft's mother. Julia Lovecraft, who I'm told is sick, and we, we're praying for her. And we're praying for the family of Sandra Williams. Uh, we, we, we're praying for them. Uh, we're praying for all my daughter, Sandria Scott. And we're praying for her that God will give her more courage and more strength and make her stronger in him. And we're praying for all the young preachers, right? these preachers as done a wonderful job here, praying that the older people put their arms around them and help them because it's a heavy load. I look like to me I have a caller here. i tell you one thing. Yes, call them. God bless you. You're on there. Yes, yes call them. Uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, pray for uh, my children and my grandchildren and I. And this is Marie Caver, right. and I want you to pray for Todd, Andrew, Terrell, and Jackie, Jackie, and little Todd, and Jeremiah. Thank you. And Thank I'm God. Marie. I sure will. Thank you. Yes, caller. God bless you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, caller? Shackle Ford. I'm sorry. Happy to hear from. Yeah, yeah. This Shackle Ford. I, uh huh. I, I stopped out of your church today. And uh, gave a donation, and and uh, and I want you to be praying for my wife. She's doing a little bit better, and her mother too, uh-huh. and my mother also. All right, we're praying for you too. We keep on, keep on preaching the word. Don't stop. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, yes, caller, can you hear me? Yes, sir. This is the stand stop. How you doing? How you doing? What you doing, Alpson? Take a minute and tell the city of Detroit how much I appreciate them supporting me on last Monday. Oh, uh, yeah. Then you, you had a wonderful day. Huh? And you want to tell everybody thank you? I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. To everybody that supported me on last Monday. And I tell you. We had a great time in Florida, and we had a great time fellowshipping with us. And brothers of Christ. Right, God bless go. you. I love you. And keep on praying for me. All right, so Scott, we, you should have had a time. You've done everything on time. You went home on time. <laughs> thank you so much. And I'm telling everybody that you said thank you and look forward for you again. Okay? Uh, uh, yes, caller. God bless you. Can you hear me? Call me now. Call me. Yes, caller. Good afternoon, Pastor. How you know? Oh, who is this? Who is this? This, this brother. Who is it? Brother Bell. Oh, yeah. Something going on. No, brother Otis Bell? Yes, sir. All right. How you doing today? I'm saying I'm all right. You it all was right? written. Huh? I'm all right. It was written. <laughs> it was written. It was written. You told it, and <laughs> we heard it. So sure did. <laughs> Oh, you was there, wasn't you? I, I remember. Thank you, Brother Bell. See you in the morning. And I, will I see you in the morning? Yes, sir. All right. Can't keep a good man down. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Bell. Yes, Bell. sir. Thank you for calling. Very encouraging when you call. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. Call me now. The number is 868 0351. Three six, call me, call me. What? What's wrong with you? Why don't you call me? Eight six eight zero three four two eight six eight zero three five one eight six eight four three three six. Yes, call Can you hear me? Yes, call her. All right. When yes, you, yes, uh, yes. This is Virginia, Pastor Scott. Uh huh. Yes, I want I want you to keep on praying for me and my son. Uh-huh. And and he just laughs when you see he's right. He's watching that basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 
Please, I'm not watching that game. <laughs> I thank you so much, my Pastor Scott. Thank you. Thank you. I thank, <laughs> thank you for calling. God bless you. Thank you for the support of the ministry. Uh, all right. Call me. Call me. 868 868-0342-868. 0351-868-4336. 868-0342-868-0351-868-4336. 3, 6, I'm going to pray in a few minutes. You better call me. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and play another record. Listen, after all I've been through, I still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. I still have joy. Lord, I still have joy. I still out of all I've been through, out of all that I've been through, I still have joy. Some people here have been in the hospital. Yes, I've been in John Gaston. But Lord, I still, I still have, have joy. joy. Out of all I've been through, out of all that I've been through, I still, I still have joy. Listen. I've been right. Yes, I have. God knows I've been wrong. Oh, yeah. I've been right always, though. I've been weak. Sure Young lady, but let me tell you about sometime. Jesus. God has made me strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so called friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they tried to destroy. But you know what I do? I said, I'm a wall and I've been through. I still have joy. This man here was testifying, Brother Reed was. He said, Scott, I've been up. I've been down. You don't be up all the time. I've been a base. I've been you remember when they set my house on fire, didn't you? <laughs> I've been about. I've been about. Reed told me, he said, Scott, I lost my parents. Yeah, yeah. When I was a boy. But you know what I told Reed? You said these words. Out of all that I've been through, I still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. Lord, I still have joy. Out of all I've been through, out of all that I've been through, I still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. I still out of all I've been through, out of all that I've been through, out of all I've been through, out of all that I've been through, I still, I still have joy. Look like you got a caller. Look like I have a caller. Yes, caller. God bless you. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I would like to tell the black and gray family and enemies and, and those that have uh, diabetes and uh, on uh, insulin. All right. We most certainly will. And thank you so much for calling. Uh, all right. Listen, let me tell you one thing. I got good news. I went to see Sally Hope. And when a, when a Christian go and see somebody, they, uh, they don't be the same no more. Sally Hope done all right. She's going to be out before you know it. You watch her. All right. I want to tell you one thing. I, I went because the Spirit told me to go. And, 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 and when the Spirit tells you to do something, do it, and God will work. He's not slack concerning his problem. I'm going to tell you something else. Let me explain something to some people about a person that's got the Holy Ghost. A person that's got the Holy Ghost, they got power. Huh? And if you're a devil, it will offend you. See, if you're a devil, uh, a person, that's why they used to, I used to run the why did they run the apostles out of town and Jesus didn't bother nobody, but he stayed in trouble. They sought to kill him, but the words that he spoke had power. And I want to tell you now, if you catch a show enough born again, saved and sanctified saint, they don't get along with a sinner. You know why? Because the words they speak, they have power. 
But the only way you can run the devil away is through authority. And he'll give you authority. I want to tell you, you that speak, quit being shy. Get up, be bold. Tell men and women that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. All right. Now, there's been so many people, lots of people that, you know, they think, that, well, look like this is it. So, some done told me, my, well, I done gone my round. I haven't gone my round yet. I haven't got started. <laughs> Amen. Listen, you think about, look at how far you came from. And this group, the Pilgrim Jubilee, sang this song, I'm too close to turn around. The Pilgrim Jubilee, I'm too close. And we want to hear just a little of that. And every time you think about turning around, I want you to think of these words, I'm too close. Uh, I'm too close. Listen, listen. If you've been serving 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 80, you still haven't got started yet. Do you not know that Moses was 80 years old. Uh, yes, Pastor. How you doing? How you doing? Who is this? This is Sister Walker, the nurse. Oh, uh, how you doing, Sister Nurse? I'm doing okay, Pastor. And then if you get a chance, will uh, you play Mary Glover? Keep me on this highway. I'll try. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, I, I, that's a good song, Eddie. Yes, it is. God bless yes. uh, yes, it. This is going out for you, though. Uh, listen, the Pilgrim Jubilee, I'm too close. Too close to turn around. Well, some people think about turning around. No. Listen. I'm too close. Remember this for me. What you say? Remember this. Remember that I told you this. Don't you know I hurt you? I just can't yeah. Devil don't like that. Y'all know the Chew. devil don't like that. Chew. You don't like that. That's why I get joy out of telling you. I just can't. Just can't. Just can't do it. Oh, I can't. 
Somebody said, what's wrong with you? Listen, I'm too close to turn around. I'm too close to turn around. Y'all don't understand me, don't you? Y'all don't understand me. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let them go. I got to say this. I got to say this. Listen, listen. I'm talking about me. Listen. Done come too far to turn I've been in the show too long. Talk about myself. I've been talking about too to much. Turn around. Let's get it. Sister Scott and I down to uh, Greensville, I think Clarksville, Mississippi, and we had won some kind of award for religious announcers, and they called us down there to give us a trophy and all, and they had just about every group it was, and the groups of one recommended us, and we do thank God. We didn't come back and tell it, but we should have told it and showed you the trophies too. Uh, and we came, and, and that group was there. And let me tell you, group starts singing about 10, about, about, about 12 o'clock in the 12, 1 o'clock in the day. And they sung on all major groups. And when they got around to this group here, and they got to singing, I'm too close to turn around. And that brother had to go and get the other brother. And we thought it all was over. I tell you, brother Ben, talking about two turn around. Them, them men can sing. And you know what? It's a message in that song. I'm too close to turn around. Now we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, people call, Lord, and they wanted prayer. Now, Lord, now, 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 Lord, you've been good to me. I pray to you all the time, and you hear me, and I pray for my members. I pray for loved ones. I pray for the ones at Virginia Park Meadows. I pray for people just walking through the hospital. I stop and pray. Lord, and you heard me. I want to thank you, Lord. When I call on you, you hear me. I want to thank you for one more thing. Lord, I always tell the people when I talk about you, you will show up. Now, Lord, I, 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 I thank you for not letting me down. Lord, when I proclaim you in the middle of the congregation, show up. Good God Almighty. Well, Lord, when I tell my friends and loved ones that you can do anything, uh, uh, show up in Jesus' name. Lord, I want you to do one more thing. Consolate Mother Julia Lovecraft's mother. I want you to consolate Sally Hope. You know, I want you to consolate a, a, a Mabel over at Virginia Park Meadows. Uh, Lord, she had a fall also too. But Lord, com comfort her. Lord, so many times that we're just not strong enough to stand, but give us strength to stand. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, now listen, listen. We need support for this broadcast, and our address 
is Post Office, Box 24992-48224. And we need you to call me, 313-527-5430. So Scott is probably by the phone now, and she'll give you the information. Listen, next Saturday at the Church of Our Savior, Barbecue Thursday and Friday. Uh, Ann Scott has some special pies. She's cooking barbecue. Don't forget it by now. Drive by the Church of Our Savior Thursday and Friday, 12, 7, 30, 1. So many of my friends, you always came. We're looking for you, you, and you. All right, listen, listen. Chris Moore's program is tomorrow. And it's at Elizabeth Baptist Church. It's right over there, Van Dyke, off of Georgia. It's in Syria, I think it is, in Van Dyke. Just, it's just a little west of Van Dyke. Don't forget about this program. It's coming. Walter Steen. Walter Steen's anniversary is the third Sunday in May. This old clock can't tell me to get out of here. I can't talk too, too much more. Don't forget about it. God bless you, God. Keep your heaven smile on you. Whatever you do, keep on talking about Jesus. And he will show up. Until next week, I will see you and just keep on talking. Even if they don't want to hear you, tell them I like to talk about King Jesus, what he done for me. I like to talk about him. I died on the cross. Bear it. I'll see you next Y'all, let's have a little church here. I like to talk. I like to talk. Bumpkin Jim, Jim, oh, what he done, what he done, he done for me. I like to talk, I like to talk, all about my Jim, oh, he done, just how he done, <laughs> you and me, Hello, he. he's been a friend, he stay with, with me, me too, yes sir, let me see you now. Let's talk, talk about Jesus. He made me talk about Jesus. I think we're going to have a little talk, talk here. Talk about Jesus. And he raised me. Talk about Jesus. He kept me. Talk about Jesus. Never left me. Talk about Jesus. When mama got sick. Talk about Jesus. January 93. Talk about Jesus. I call on Jesus. Talk about Jesus. He came to see about me. Talk about Jesus. When I was in the hospital. Talk about Jesus. And John Gaston. Talk about Jesus. Church of Our Savior, 12730 East Warren, Detroit, Michigan, where the Reverend Sam Scott is the fine pastor. We're inviting you to come and worship with us. Order of Services, Sunday School at 9 a.m., Morning Worship at 10.30 a.m., Bible Class every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Come and bring your family and be blessed.